everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom cell phone holder as well as a wireless charger from ProClip USA. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be doing a follow-up to a video that I did before where I installed a phone holder with a magnetic charging mount in my C7 and I had a lot of questions after that video came out. Um, my car is a 2014 which did not have the Apple CarPlay or the Android Audio and so I had some questions about well great that's that's great for a 2014 but how do you do that in a 2015 all the way up to 2019? So um, we've got a couple different options here. Um, it is able, you are able to do it, but a lot of you are going to probably want to go with this right here is the, just the base piece that actually does the mounting on the car. Um, that piece is the same between the two different actual mounting bases for the phones. Now, this is the one that we used in my C7, which has the, um, it's the magic mount, it has the swivel, uh, swivel head on it, as well as the uh, charging capabilities. And then we also have just the universal adjustable uh, mount, and it mounts also to this base. So if you don't want to worry about it and you're just going to want to have your one cable, um, then this is the one that you're going to want to go to. If you, you want to go and do it like I did it in my, C, in my C7, and I might be in a 2014, um, you are going to have this cable as well as an additional cable. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Um, I did a little research after you guys asked questions about this to find out whether or not phones can actually be be on a magnetic uh, charger as well as being able to be plugged in and what I found was is that the phones are all set up now that there is a protection circuit in these phones and so what happens is when they are getting charged wirelessly and the phone is just sitting on there it charges once you plug your cord into it then it shuts off the wireless or cordless uh, charging capability and starts charging off of the cable. So those of you that have the Android Auto and the, and the Android CarPlay, I could just said that wrong, it's Apple CarPlay and Android Audio, but um, anyway, you will be able to set the your phone on this pad and then have an additional cable that you can go ahead and plug into the bottom of the phone and it will just disable the charging but you still have the magnetics. So I'm going to show you in, in Jennifer's car how that's done and um, this way you, be able, you guys will be able to have the best of both worlds. The very first thing we have here is our, our base piece. This is the part that has to actually mount to the car. Now um, it is there comes a little tool here that you can use if you need to spread this apart and you can spread it and just push it in there and you can spread it however you need to do it and push it down and that will allow this plastic to separate from the leather a little bit so you can actually get these, this this uh, piece of plastic right here um, actually in between so there's also underneath here in this in the in the handle you'll feel right underneath here uh, where the two handles come together on the back side underneath there's a, a ridge it's where these two pieces meet that's where this little piece is going to go in so it actually goes up in there like that you'll I'm going to get this out of the way here for a second and you're going to be able to feel that with your with your fingers and you'll feel it right there like so then what you want to do is you want to slide this all the way to the up position and that's where it's basically going to sit so now if you have a problem, basically you're, what you're doing is you're going to take it, now that you've got that piece inside the, in, beside, in the clip itself between the two handles in the back, and you're going to lift this part up and it's going to just snap into place. And there you go. 
Now, like I said, this one, I didn't have any problem. You saw I was able to get that in there. You probably won't even have to use this because it just locks in place and that's not going anywhere. In the event that you needed to pull it back off, right? You can literally just pull it and take it off. It's not hurting anything, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snap that in place. Now, where I was showing you here is that you have two different options for your um, for your mounting purposes, okay? If you decide you just don't want the extra cable, you don't wanna do wireless charging, you just wanna be a phone holder, okay? Um, this one is the one that you would use. It's the universal mount. It's made to be able to just to adjust to whatever size phone you have. So I take my phone here and I'm just gonna squeeze this down, okay? Just to the point where it holds it. So at that point, it just slides out, slides back in. It comes with the four screws that you're gonna need here to screw this base to this plate, okay? And in order to do that, you're literally going to just unscrew the screw that's in here. You're gonna take this loose, just like that, and then you'll attach the four screws right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. Notice that on this this bracket there is six holes. Um, you could lower it down, but it will then basically be getting in the way of your um, of your cup holder. So I highly recommend that you go to the top side. Then we take this little guy here. And we put it right there on the holder. Just like that. So then you can adjust this to however you want it. And you can just slide your phone right in and you're good to go. Okay, so literally at that point, you're utilizing your regular charger cord that you would have, you know, just coming into the into your glove box and you would be plugging it into your phone. If I can get it to go in there, just like that. Now, if you noticed, I used a, a, a 45 degree angle jack here, so it's not coming out, it's staying out of the way. This way, you can actually do this. You can actually still route the cable down and around and out of the way, so it's not sticking in your sticking in your way of the cup holder or anything like that okay so now to answer all of the questions that we've had in the past from my previous video about using the magic the the magic mount we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump to that now um i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take this one off um so we so we can start over okay so um, we'll uh, I'll go ahead and I'll take this bracket off, and then we'll uh, we'll jump back to it, mounting the magic the magic mount on on, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So we're back to this point where we just have our base bracket on the car, the mounting bracket itself. Now we've got our magic mount. Okay. Now this is a two piece situation. So you've got this is basically the mount slash swivel. And then this part mounts onto it here, it just goes in, slides down, locks in place, and that allows this to be able to be turned, uh, tilted all different directions, okay? So we have to do the same thing on this one as we did with the first part. We have to take the center screw here out. Okay. This way, we can take that loose, and we can go ahead and we can put our small screws in here and we can mount it onto our onto the car okay so we, we're same same small screws all right so 
So then once we've got that part done, then we take our base here, we screw this back on, put it back on here like that, we tighten it down. Now, this is a matter of preference for you. You want it, you want it snug, but you don't want it super tight, otherwise you're not going to be able to twist it and turn it. So, I try to get it where it's it's pretty good, right? I mean, you can still move it a little bit. Um, so, kind of like that. You don't want it stiff to the point where you can't move it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way here. And then all we're doing is we're literally just going to slide this on and then down. And you'll hear it lock in place. Now, in my previous video, I showed you how you can actually push this over. You can see right here, you can see with my thumb, see, see how that the handle is moving over? You can actually wrap this wire down through there like that and bring it all the way down the side and up into your center console. Now you can see that the silver cable is going into the regular USB jack right there. And then you can see that the black cable is going into the um, into this cigarette lighter socket. Okay. Now both of those will need to be able to be plugged in and it's going in order to be able to do the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the glove box and then we'll discuss a little bit more about what's going on with how it's going to charge. We've got the phone on here, the car's off, it's not doing any charging. I'm just going to turn the key on. Once I turn the key on, the charger is going to start, or the phone's going to start charging wirelessly. You should see the circle take off here in a second. Well, it's already kicked on. So fast charging is enabled. Okay. Then at that point, if I go and I take this cord, which is coming from to be able to plug in to do the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto, we're going to plug into the bottom of that, and that's going to disable the wireless charging and use the cord charger. And that's as simple as it gets. So that's the only difference between having a 2014 versus a 2015 through 2019 is that I, in the 2014s, they don't have the Apple CarPlay, they don't have the Android Auto, so you don't have to have this other cord. But if you want to treat it exactly the same as I do in my, my 14, where I don't use the Android Auto, then you really don't need this cable at all. But this way you've got it both ways. Okay, so hopefully that answered all your questions. So guys, one thing I forgot to cover in the video earlier um, is that I was just taking my phone and I'm just sticking it on to the magic mount and just automatically worked. But you actually have to go ahead and attach a either or. Um, this one is made for putting it underneath on the phone itself. And this is made, this one here is made to be able to put it onto a cover. Um, as you can see here, I already had mine already on there, so that's why it just automatically worked. We were installing, in this video, we were installing the bracket inside Jennifer's car. So if you go back, I'll put a link to the original video that I did. Um, so you can see that that one's actually in my car. Uh, the installation is, like I said, exactly the same. I cover the routing of the wires a little bit more. I didn't want to bore you guys with that twice. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to make sure that if this is the only video you've seen, that you know it is a complete kit. You get everything that you're going to need. You're not having to run down to the store and buy a mat, little magnet or whatever you're going to need. Okay? So anyway, um, hopefully, hopefully that works for you. So guys, hopefully I answered all of your questions that you had as a follow-up to the previous video that I did for ProClip USA's Magic Mount, mount in, my, in my C7. Jennifer is going to be totally tickled with hers. I know she's been bugging me to be able to get it installed as soon as I possibly could, and I have just been busy. So I finally, I think I'll be out of the doghouse. But anyway, guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Just put it in the comments below, and I'll try to answer your questions as fast as I possibly can. Um, and again, guys, I want to take just a second to uh, thank ProClip USA for sponsoring the channel today and sending me this product to be able to show this off. Without their help, I wouldn't be able to do this. Without the sponsor's help, I, I wouldn't be able to afford to be able to do all the stuff that I do on all the cars. But anyway, I just want to say thank you. I also want to say thank you to all of you guys that have been subscribing and watching the channel. I really appreciate it. 
And guys, I just want to say, stay safe, and this will be over one of these days, and we'll be able to get back to having a good old time in our cars. So guys, you have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.